So hello, um, I tried to record some sort of intro to this video when I was at work leaving out of the parking lot and then I stopped to talk to somebody so I don't know if this intro ever got made or anything, um, so apologies. Um, I'm in my hotel room in Knoxville, Tennessee, um, preparing for the Pokemon VGC regionals that are going to be here. Um, in two days time. This is Thursday night when I'm recording this currently um, But yes, I'm here. I'm excited um, I'm gonna meet some friends here. Also just a fair warning. I have no idea how good this mic is This camera quality might suck right now. I have no clue. I apologize in advance, but we'll see how it goes um, My goal is to go three and five For the regionals. I think you get eight games guaranteed and if I go three and five, obviously I don't advance, but I'll be happy with that. This being my first regionals, I'll be happy with that. Above all else, I'll have fun here. There's no doubt about that. So we'll see how it goes. I'll show you guys around the city tomorrow. Not right now because it is 9.54 and I just drove for four and a half hours to get here. <laughs> and I'm tired and I want to lay down. So yeah. This is my view from my hotel room. Knoxville is so beautiful. Just an abandoned building across the street, and that's pretty much it. But um, that's not what we're here for. We're here to play Pokemon, and we're going out to the event center today. I have no idea, no idea what they are doing. But apparently they're playing some fun little games, doing some warm-up stuff, um, allowing people to get used to the facility and stuff like that. So that'll be, that'll be fun. I'll get to see like where we're gonna be playing where I need to go and like as soon as we get started tomorrow. So I'm nervous. I'm nervous for today, which is weird. <laughs> I should be nervous for tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see how it goes and I'll head there now. Alright, so I am at the event center currently. I'm trying not to make too much noise because there are some people around practicing and stuff like that. Uh, I may or may not have just walked into the judges seminar that they're doing to prepare for tomorrow. Um, so I walked into a room full of judges who knew what they were doing. And I was just like, hey, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. So that was fun. And yeah, uh, apparently the event is supposed to start at 2. And it is 10.33 now. So I got a lot of time to waste. So I'm gonna run some calculations, do some practicing, and yeah, have some fun. All right, so in the exhibit hall where the event will take place tomorrow, um, I've learned today, by the way, that it's actually nine matches, not eight. I thought it was nine, or sorry, I thought it was eight. Apparently it's nine. Um, so yeah, goal is three and six, not three Seven and five. players, the sealed box battle royale is open for registration. Okay. Over at the black side event banner, you <laughs> must have your tickets already purchased. All right. Over at the Anyways, so it's actually really cool here. They have a lot of like old consoles to play on and stuff like that. They have like Pokemon Coliseum, Pokemon Stadium and stuff like that. So that's really cool to see. Uh, and I'm definitely going to be spending some time there. If not today, then tomorrow, but most likely today. I'll be busy tomorrow. Um, may have spent too much money on plushies. But there was a LeChonk one, and I had to get it. So, uh, I'll apologize to my wife later. <laughs> Alright, what's going on, folks? I am about to head back to my hotel room. Um, that was fun. That was a fun little side event kind of thing that they had going on. It was pretty, uh, 
there was a whole lot of stuff to do. There was a lot of old consoles to play on. They were doing like side event, like little tournament things that I didn't really get involved in just because it feels like I got too much on my plate right now. And also it did cost more money. Got a cool hat. That's always fun. And uh, I'm going to go back to my hotel room. I'm going to prepare. I'm going to run a lot of calculations. going to run a lot of uh, battles and stuff like that on Showdown, and we're gonna see what we can do tomorrow, man. Yeah, so I may or may not have spent, uh, I don't know, somewhere close to $200 on all <laughs> these bad boys. It's mainly him, okay? Lechonk, because it's a new Pokemon, they don't really have very many plushies of it yet. Everything else you see here was 20 a piece. I also got a Tyranitar, which looks hilarious. I mean, he looks like he's angry that he can't see his nose. It's, it's so funny. Um, but I felt like I had to get a Pokemon that was actually on my VGC team as a plush as well. Don't ask me why, but I just really thought, uh, really thought I needed it. And of course I got Articuno, which if you don't know by now, is my very favorite Pokemon, my all-time favorite Pokemon. Um, I already have a plush that's similar to this, it's not the same, um, but it is similar, and I thought, well hey, um, should I, by some chance tomorrow, get on the stage to perform on stream, uh, which I guarantee you I won't be, but it's possible. I'm just gonna butt in really quick and say that we were actually super close to getting on stream at Knoxville Regionals. Um, I was playing in the very last round and we had already started game one of the best of three set. We'd already finished it actually and we were heading into game two and one of the ladies who was working on i don't know if she was in charge of like setting up the stage and if she was like the director or whatever um but she came up and she had looked around and she had asked us since she saw that we were in the menu she was like have you guys started uh game one yet and we said yeah we already finished it and she said oh, okay never mind and then she walked off and then i looked at my opponent and i was like Dude, we were almost we, we all we were almost on stream, and we were both just like, no, that would have been awesome because we both actually talked about before that game even started that we both really wanted to be on stream and how awesome that would be. And could you imagine that would have been so insane in my first regionals to have done that? But either way, nonetheless. <laughs> um, then yeah, I want to put a plush on the table like some people do. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'll get the Articuno one too. Why not? Add to the collection. I also got these really cool pins uh, that are on my camera bag now of all the Gen 9 starters, of course. And this is the hat that you get for just being there. I mean, I guess you have to like uh, sign up and like, you know, actually compete. It's not, I don't think spectators get this hat, but uh, anyways, yeah, you choose one of the three Gen 8 starters as a hat. And I chose Sobble just because I thought it was the coolest. I'm not crazy about any of the Gen 8 starters. I kind of wish they had the Gen 9 ones, that would be really cool, but they didn't have those yet, uh, but that's fine. And I also got an Ultra Necrozma pin, which I think is really cool, and I put it on the hat as well. So yeah, I'll be wearing this tomorrow for sure. And dude, I am just so excited to just even be here. Even if I wasn't competing tomorrow, I would love to just sit around and watch people compete. Like, I'm going to have fun. Once I get eliminated, I'm going to hang around. I will most certainly be here come time for the, uh, the championship match that's gonna happen on Sunday. I will certainly be here uh, to watch that. So that'll be fun. I'll watch, try to watch all of Top Cut, all of, you know, Top 8, Top 4 and everything. That'd be awesome. But uh, I bet I will not get champion points as well, which I think you have to go like six and three or better uh, to, to get champion points. Um, but again, that's also something that I'll keep an eye on should I get near it. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep trying and try to get champion points because if I made it to Worlds the first year that I started playing VGC, That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm nervous, for sure, but hey, I'm gonna have a great time regardless. So right quick, I did want to just give a little bit of explanation of my team uh, and go over some stuff. I didn't actually do this in the vlog at all. I figured it would be uh, good to just kind of throw this in right quick. Uh, basically, what I'm running on my team is a beat up, uh, mouse hold annihilate set you know people have seen that strat for a while now um, it's still pretty active it was very active in series one uh, it's still seeing a lot of play um, but surprisingly enough in Knoxville it didn't do me very good like I think there was one set that I won where I could say that okay yeah mouse hold annihilate is the reason that I won this set all the other ones I could not say that I more so found myself winning sets based off of 
Tyranitar and Fluttermane. Um, so, but I'll sort of touch on that in the vlog later on as well. Um, so we also have uh, Amoongus, who is a huge help. Uh, of course, everybody knows how good Amoongus is. It's been around uh, in competitive for a very long time. Um, I have my Iron Bundle, who is really, really good. One plenty of speed dies as well, because a lot of people run the max speed booster energy. Um, and then who am I missing? Is that it? Is that everybody? Yeah, I pretty much touched on everybody. Um, but yeah, the MVP of the team was definitely Tyranitar, 100%. Also, if you know where these nicknames come from, then you're a real one. <laughs> You can talk, I'm just getting a pano shot. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I haven't been vlogging very much. I haven't been uh, remembering to uh, say something in between battles just because it's been so quick. I've had to get ready and stuff like that. 3-0 start. That's amazing. That is literally amazing. I said leading into this that if I went 3-6, and six, I'd be fine. And I'm 3-0. and oh. So if I, lose every, <laughs> if I lose every single game, I'm good. But no, uh, hopefully luck will continue. We'll see how it goes. It might not continue. Who knows? Um, but yeah, Tyranitar, definitely the MVP, 100%. Every game that I've brought Tyranitar, I've won. So, gotta keep doing that. Uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, so, tough game four? Round four? Yeah. First loss, uh, was against a Dondozo team, which seems to be my weakness. So, we're gonna have to see what's going on there. Gonna have to figure out something. I have answers to it, don't have hard answers. So, gonna have to do better there. Uh, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just went and got lunch. So I'm three and one, still in contend contention for day two. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah. <sighs> All right, so this is going pretty well. Um, six and one, that's insane. I simply do not believe it. Um, <laughs> I uh, forgot to vlog again after, I think lunchtime was the last time I have got in front of the camera, but yeah, no. Uh, so, six and one, I'm one win away from making day two. That's insane, dude, that's insane. Super excited, we'll see how this goes. All right, so six and three is my final record. Kind of stinks. I was very close to uh, to making it to day two. I was six and one, so I had two games to get one win and couldn't do it. But like I said, six and three. I mean, that's great compared to what I thought I was gonna get. That's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. So I'm I'm super stoked. I can't I can't ask for more. And I guarantee champion points. So like that could go towards. A world invite potentially so we'll see how it goes but yeah this has been an amazing experience i've had so much fun this will not be my last regional at all <laughs> and we are back in the hotel room and i am exhausted um i mean what can you say six and three um, definitely expected to do a lot worse than that. Um, as I've been saying, probably 8 million times in this video already. Um, 3 and 6 was my goal. Uh, I fully expected to go like 2 and 7, honestly. I expected it to be really bad. Um, especially like when the nerves started getting to me in the first couple games. I was like, oh man, this is going to kill me. Uh, but no, I got pretty accustomed to it. I actually played better when I was nervous. It was kind of weird. Uh, I played better early on and then... Later on, my brain just kind of turned to mush, <laughs> but um, yeah, I, I don't know how well I've explained it throughout the, the clips today, but um, I won the first three games, lost round four, um, won five, six, and seven. Yeah, won five, six, and seven, and then lost the last two. So, um, 
Am I disappointed? <laughs> I'm disappointed in how I played in the last two sets. I think I could have done better. Definitely could have done better in round eight. I definitely, if I make um, one misplay not happen in game one, and I get a little bit more RNG in game two, then I actually probably could have won both games, but it's super, you know, there's a lot of other things that could have happened. Um, I could have at least taken it to three games, uh, if nothing else. Um, but that guy was a really good player. He actually ended up playing Wolf. <laughs> the very next uh, uh, very next game, he actually played Wolf Glick, so that was awesome. I actually met Wolf Glick today, too, so super cool guy, uh, super nice. Um, when I talked to him, I told him, you know, I got into VGC actually because of watching his videos and stuff, so he was he was really glad to hear that, and I told him, uh, told him you know, how I did, because it was after, it was after round nine. I told him how I did, and he was, you know, he told me that that was really good for first regionals, which I agree. I think I, uh, sorry. I think I have a lot to be proud, be proud of. So, um, yeah, this has been fun. I'll uh, I'll hang around for uh, day two tomorrow, I guess. I'll you know go around the venue and, and probably stay for all the matches. Probably stay until uh, the championship match is done. It just depends on how late it goes. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in day two. <coughs> all right. Day two of regionals, day three for me, because I did come here on Friday. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see who's gonna win today. I played against some great players today or yesterday that are still playing today. So I'd be really excited to see how well they do. And uh, yeah, we'll see if Wolf can't win back-to-back -back regionals. I bet he can. I heard he's using Iron Jugulus. I haven't got a chance to look at his team. Um, I wonder if he's still doing Paris Trap. That'd be very interesting to see. So yeah, I'm planning on just having fun today, man. I'm, I'm excited. at Lucas team, he has one Pokemon that can get out of the trap pretty easily with God, with his uh, Flutter main because of course it's Ghost type beam, but then the Iron Hands can also Volt switch out. And so I think a big question in this. So yeah, unfortunately my camera did die at the end of day two. Um, and it was actually funny, I was in my car recording the outro of the video and it went on for like five minutes or something and by the time I finished recording it, I turned my camera around and the screen was black. There was no life left in the camera. Um, which is funny because I had two camera batteries, I just wasn't paying attention to the camera life, so got out of hand and just completely forgot about it. But, uh, I'm glad I got enough footage, uh, to make this video, um, First of all, I do, do want to say this is my first vlog, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, there's a lot I have to learn. Uh, I gotta learn how to hold a camera, I gotta get a better mic, and I just gotta learn how to get better and more unique like B-roll footage. I'll work on it. Uh, so if this kind of sucks, then uh, I apologize. I imagine you enjoyed it if you made it this far. Uh, but either way, um, day two of Knoxville was amazing. It was great to see um, a Cinderella story uh, play out in the final. Uh, to see uh, Justin Tang win um, his in his first ever regional. That could have been me. I could have... <laughs> playing in my first regional, I could have been me. I was in the same scenario, but no, that's awesome uh, for him. And he was... Um, I actually met him in the bathroom uh, right before his finals match. He's a really cool guy. I got to talk to him a little bit. I told him it was my first regionals too. And he was, he was super awesome. He was like, Oh, how'd you do? Oh, that's awesome. You know, like we just, we just chatted it up. He's a super cool guy. Um, as you probably could tell all of that being said, I had the time of my life at Knoxville. It was so much fun. Huge shout out to my friend, Zach, who was my building partner slash tournament partner i don't know what you want to call it what these vgc players say i honestly would have had a much worse team if i didn't have help from him so that's a uh, huge thanks to him now i'm going to charlotte i made the call i finally um you know sat down with my wife we talked about you know other plans and stuff like that i'm going to charlotte i'm going to charlotte got the airbnb booked um got my tickets bought I'm, I'm ready to roll. I, honestly, I don't expect to do as well as I did in Knoxville. I mean, quite frankly, some people, you know, sometimes you have good luck, sometimes you have bad luck when it comes to tournaments like that. For example, Brendan Zhang, who was a former world champion, 
actually finished lower than I did in Knoxville. That doesn't mean I'm a better player than him. It just means he had a tough tournament. That happens, you know. Um, I finished 66 out of 619 players. I don't expect at my level of experience to get anywhere close to that, uh, you know, just all the time. Um, but hey, man, I'll, I'll be okay if I go if I go three and six. <laughs> if, I, if I go three and six in Charlotte, I'll be fine. But no, like I've I uh, I used up a lot of my luck in Knoxville. There's a couple sets that I won only because of RNG. I'll just be honest. Um, but either way, man, um, sorry if this vlog kind of sucks. I did my best, and I'll do better next time. And there will be a next time. Um, Charlotte, which is going to be three weeks from tomorrow. Three weeks from tomorrow? That's close. I need to get I need to get back in the lab. I need to get back to, to, to cooking. But anyways, I'm super excited for that. Hope you guys are too. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and yeah. I'll see you in the next one.